Last time we ended in verse number 83 of Shri Radha Rasa Sudhanidhi and we are still searching for quotes of Chaitanya Chart Amrita by the sweet will of our Gurudev. So we ended actually with uh, the topic Sanyas Householders. This was actually the topic because um, the whole theme was renunciation, uh, sannyasi order and householder life. And we could actually see that um, the one who is serving in love, Radharani, because she has only one fixed point to serve her beloved, will automatically be in the mood of, uh, of a sannyasi. He will be a householder sannyasi. Why? Because his only interest is to serve Radha. And in this way, all other things will be gone. That's real sannyas. Real sannyas means everything, everything, whatever I have, whatever I think, whatever I do, is for the sake of the service of Radha. I offer everything to Radharani and I have no other interest. Whatever I do, so I may drive a car, I may have a house, I may have so many things and I'm just in a normal outside looking material life but because I offered everything to the lotus feet of Radha and her seva, her service this is actually the real sannyas because I don't think that anything belongs to me everything belongs to Radha whatever I seem to own is Radha's and is meant for her seva. So in this way, this is actually the real sannyasi, householder sannyasi. So it's not a question of what color my clothes are, if I'm looking like a sannyasi. It's a question of how do I actually feel it? Is it my computer? Is it my book? My handy? My things? Or do they all belong to Radharani and they are all meant for her seva? So we were talking about this last time. And we heard the majority of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's personal associates were householders. And their food dust is sprayed for by all renounced devotees. That's a very interesting point, isn't it? The renounced order of devotees praying to the food dust of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's personal associates. So why that? <laughs> that underlines exactly that fact that actually the real sannyasis are the sevikas of Radharani. Or in this case Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, which is no difference because Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is perfectly in the mood of Radharani. So that's another vision of sannyas, the real renounced order. Gorani Ji, yes, it reminds me one situation when one brahmachari came to Srivas with request. He told, "I want to see by my eyes the dance of Mahapur of Nimai Gora." 
in your house. It was uh, this kitten, this some kitten was for a small group of devotees who is close to uh, Gaurakari. Not everyone was allowed to come inside because only Svajatiya Sangha create the mood when uh, Gora can be happy. And uh, this Brahmachari had desire for this. And he was very renounced. He uh, ate it only fruits and milk. It was his uh, uh, rata, co- constant rata. And Srivas decided to give him mercy. In one day, he gave him place, secret place inside of this room where Mahaprabhu started his dance. In one moment, Mahaprabhu stopped and told, I am not feeling my ecstasy, same ecstasy as usual. Oh, Shrivas, someone here who is uh, not in the same mood, take him out from here. Uh, he told Anadhikari, someone not good person. And she was told, she was answering, no, he is not so bad. He is uh, Brahmachari, he is uh how to say support his life by f- only fruits and milk, something like this. And Mahabharata thought, what? He thinks he can uh conquer me just eating fruits and taking m- milk without serving Vaishnavas taken out from here. <laughs> <coughs> Yes, Without serving Vaishnavas, take him out from him. <laughs> and this Brahmacharya understood what's happened. And he started to go away. He understood his mistake. How he can, how, he understood how possible to reach a real goal just by only left something. Not accepting something, but just left something. <laughs> and Mahaprabhu then Mahaprabhu so this understanding in the heart of his devotee, he returned him and embraced and left him with him. Actually, he before accepted lotus feet of Srivas. <laughs> Already. <laughs> Rather. Thank and you. By the mercy, and it's happened by mercy of Srivas because Srivas, he serves Chatra. He's creating protected area from Mahaprabhu. He can allow to see this, what is inside, or cover, not allow to see what's inside. Radhe. Thank you so much. This is opening another theme when we see Srivas is like the left hand of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. If we see Chaitanya Mahaprabhu standing in the middle of Panchatattva, right side Nitai and then Advaita Acharya, left side Garata and Srivas. And actually the energy is going from Radharani, from the middle, like, like I see it like the spread arm of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Want to reach us, want to take us back on the loving breast of Radharani. And Srivas is the left hand, this part, and the hand. Gadata is the upper part. Because Srivas is Bhakti Shakti. We know Gadata is Prema Shakti. And more for us more near is bhakti shakti i show you how you can actually reach bhakti how to practice and that's why shrivas had to give him initiation and give him the understanding that renouncing alone never never i was also thinking about this verse chinata pisunichana teroa pisaishana and so on So, you can understand it from the view of respect, from the view of God consciousness. Then you will see, yes, yes, I have to be humble, I have to be very humble, and 
I have to be very meek and yeah, yes, yes, and I have to be like a tree, yes, very patient, and yes, yes, yes. But you can also understand it in another way. Like straw is moved by the wind. We are actually moved by Brahma. If we act like straw, yes, please Brahma, move me. Move me wherever you want to have me. I will go there wherever you want to have me because I'm completely helpless. I have no qualities. I have no, no way, no sadhana, nothing to reach you. So I want to be moved by you. So out of love, I just give myself, please move me. Take me like a puppet in your hand. And then, of course, because you said, I have to be very patient, like a tree. I have to accept whatever happens. Because you will clean me up. You will show me the way. You will move me. So I have to be patient. So I want to be patient, please. I want to accept this Brema. Learn how to act in Brema. And in this way I will give all others respect. Because I don't know where they are, what they are, where they are standing in the spiritual path or what they are. I don't know. I don't even know from myself. How I can understand from others? So yes, I will give respect to all others. And I don't want to have any, any respect because there's, I have no qualification for what they have. <laughs> respect. <laughs> so, so we can see this in a completely other light, in the light of Prema. And as we know, already in Srimad Bhagavatam, they was kicked out the four goals of life, right? Dharma, Artha, Kama, Moksha are kicked out. The wise men of Namasharanya, they said, this has nothing to do, Bhagavatam has nothing to do with these four goals of life. So Bhagavatam is about Brahma. If we see this together, Brema is our goal. So how we can reach the goal only by Brema? By the mercy of Brema, we can reach Brema. So that's why Bhagavatam, we actually should focus on the lila parts. That's it. Why? because we have to open our feelings. We cannot reach Brema by any means like sadhana. Oh, I renounce yogurt in the months of Kartik. I renounce whatever, you know. Yes, you may renounce, but do you really think that this brings you to Brema? And this is such a wonderful story you told, Radha Charan. Because this shows, yes, there is no way to get Brema but by the mercy of Brema. And you have to really be determined that you want to have it. And your determination you will show when you accept Trinata Pisunichana, but not out of the vision of Aishwarya Bhav but out of the vision of, yes, this is the only way to get Brema, to put me in that process of Brema, because this describes the process of Brema. You will be moved from here to there. You will not know what happened. You just say, yes, I want. I'm here. Whatever you do, I will be patient. You move me. I don't want any respect because I don't... I don't deserve any respect. You deserve all respect. And all the others deserve all respect. So this is a vision out of Brema and only this vision of Brema can bring us to Brema. What else? No qualification, no sadhana bhakti, no renunciation, nothing. 
And the real renunciation is actually exactly what we were talking about now. Real renunciation but that means that I don't have any plan myself. I don't have any plan how to reach Brahma. I just let it happen. I'm just there. So this is actually the real sannyasi. This is the real household life. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu just left us Shiksha Ashtakam. Eight verses. And these are all braces of the holy name, isn't it? And what does this actually give? Knowledge? Does Shikshashtakam give knowledge? No. It's giving a feeling. It's giving a feeling what is the goal. It's giving a feeling how to reach the goal. It's giving actually the experience of Radharani. Love herself, Brahma herself. Mahabhav herself is giving her experience to us. We have to start with feelings because this is the path of feelings. So that's why Shikshashtakam is not information like Kyan. It's information about her feelings. And when we connect with these feelings, then we will be transported. And how we can connect? Trinata, peace, Sunichana. So actually this is very, very clear that the real renunciation is out of love. It's actually out of our will to serve the goddess of love, the love in person. So how wonderful that we got this chance to be in contact with that and to be in contact with the Shikshashtakam, which is actually the expression of feelings of Radharani and that we can, if we just put us in this process of feelings, that we can actually grow just by opening the possibility to grow. These householder devotees were and are always absorbed in the great secrets of the service of Sri Radha's lotus feet, and they should never be compared to ordinary fruitive workers, kyanis, or yogis. They cannot be compared. And we were just talking about why, why they cannot be compared. Because they are not following any dharma path. Ritualistic rules, regulations. They are actually starting by the base of feelings. Feelings and love. So we cannot compare them doesn't work. Rather, such elevated souls always renounce the association of such people and are in, immersed in the flavors of meditation on Sri Sri Radha Madhava's devotional service. So that's written here from Srila Anandadas Babaji.
And there is in Brahma Bhakti Chantrika a statement, be careful not to be socially and mentally touched by others. Be careful not to be touched by others, socially or mentally. Singing the holy names of Radha and Krishna is the highest meditation. Don't seek any other truth. Don't be attached to the association of devotees who mix their devotion with fruitive work or yoga. Just think of pure devotion. Be attached to the opinion of the people of Braj. For this truth is the greatest treasure. So actually it's made very clear here. We should be fixed in one point, in one mood and have the association of that people in that mood. That's it. So that's a very interesting statement and a very interesting topic. Maybe someone wants to share on that also more. Or if you have some questions on that, Please ask. Uh, Garonji, how you understand and not detached but socially and mentally? Hmm. I want to clear this point. Yeah, that's a very, very good question. You can be mentally or socially influenced always. Because actually, usually people are doing this very unconscious because they are actually working in their program. If someone is a very religious person, for example, then of course he expects from you that you are also um, working inside this religious um, forms. If you do not so, then you will have a bad feeling in the association with these people until you do so. Because then you are accepted. Because they are following rules and regulations and all this, so they expect it from you. You don't, you do not, then you, you understand, oh, they don't like me so much. They don't accept me really in their company. So actually, because we are people who want to have social uh, circles and feel inside that circle, by the time you will act a little bit more to please them and then more and more and so you get influenced and you're slowly, slowly going in this direction. I know practically from my time in ISKCON, I remember that in the beginning, I thought, these are very nice people, they have very nice uh, um, philosophy and very nice food. Let's have some association, but I don't like this religious action they are doing. This was my first impression. I lost it, I don't know when. It must been happen on the way. <laughs> and when I woke up again after my spiritual master in Iskon left, I woke up again and I in this moment I realized, oh, you are more or less like them now, although in the beginning you didn't want it. So it was a very slowly ongoing process. Because we want to be accepted socially, 
that's normal. So that's one point we could be influenced like this. And the other point is, uh, is the social aspect. Mentally, of course, they all have their mental concepts. And when you have the association with people with mental concepts, we can easily understand that we are influenced by that also. One example, the best example, our parents, we were growing up with them. They had mental concepts. And usually when we see later in our life, uh, we also have these concepts. We may follow them or we, we may be against them, that, but we are not free from them. So let's say my mother acted in such a way I didn't like. So I'm acting exactly in the other way. But that means I'm not free. I'm not free to have a choice to do something completely else and don't follow these mental concepts. So you go with it or you go against it. And this is just the truth. People all act like that. They may know or not. But we are working in this, uh, uh, how do you say, profession. We are working in this profession and we see it's exactly like that always. Although people may say no, 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 no. I'm not like my mother or my father or like this or that. Yes, but the program is working. So we have to actually get rid of this. Doesn't mean against it. This is not get rid of it. This is just the other side. And following it is also not the solution. So solution is to get rid of it. Free from mental concepts. So by having association, these things are actually moving by themselves. We don't have to do anything, just have association with people because we are like sponges. By the time we suck in what actually is around us, we are swimming in. Slowly, slowly, we suck that in. In this way, we get influenced. That's why we have to have association with people who are really exactly on the same point like us. But please share what you feel, what you think, and I think there are much more aspects. Mm -hmm. Thanks so much. It's uh, become more clear for me. And also what I understood, um, because you remind my own experience about this influence, social and mental. And I can say it's not easy thing to be out of this influence because most uh, it's so much going on subconscious level, so much. Mm -hmm. Just because we have neighbor neighbors beyond of our wall in big uh, uh, building, many 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 flats, we in city a particular mentality. It's so many things which regulated our life. What to do? Oh, so many new, um, let's say, uh, I don't know what's English, uh, like websites, newspapers, uh, magazines, uh, all uh, TV sets, which created particular also awesome mentality. They enemy, their friend, they good, they bad, like this. And I, and I agree, if you want to change this, you must be in good company. One of my first preceptor told, if you won't be, uh, if you won't be like someone whom you love, be just with this person. It's like if you have jar with salty water and spices. If you put cucumbers, these cucumbers will get this test. Mm -hmm. If you want make one more cucumber, same test, put in same jar. Means if you want to be, uh, look, uh, if you want to be by quality, uh, uh, same as someone, just be with them. That's all. In same rasa, in in same, I don't know how to say in English. Yeah. Rade.
Nina Boy, you want to say something or? Yes, I would like. Um, I've always found this a difficult point that you are. I mean, maybe I misunderstand it, but you're kind of supposed to only associate with other devotees and not have non-devotee friends. And is that the the right understanding, or am I misunderstanding it? No, uh, I know that point from from Iskon. Some, sometimes they, they spoke like that or from other uh, uh, religion groups they also speak like that often but what we mean is like Prabhupada said it actually very clear you can give a cessation or you can take a cessation it depends it's a very subtle uh, point which is actually parting these two understandings so Give association means um, when I am at the point, I am always connected. I can have association with all people, trunkers or whatever. It doesn't, doesn't. There's no, no distinction because I know that I don't want to be a trunker. I, I'm very clear in that point. I know that I don't want to be a religious person. I'm very clear at that point. I know what I want. I'm very clear, so I can give association to everyone. No problem. But if I'm a person who don't know what really, what is my goal and what to do, and I'm coming into association with other people who know what they want to do, then the influence is very strong. Mm -hmm. I'm moved very easy in other directions, which I don't want actually. But I don't know that I don't want, I'm not clear. Okay. So in this way, if you are going in, into association with religious people, but you don't have fixed your goal, then it's poo, it's tough. It can really move you to some direction you don't want. Okay, you cannot. You, you may say, anyway, it's just an experience. After that experience, uh, you will clear it up and then you will be more strong on your point. That's true. That's also true. Okay. That's very helpful. Thank you. You're welcome. Ah? Uh? One can take gold from a dirty place. One can take gold from a dirty place here. Our Mahatma is saying, Chakshu. Yes, it's true. Goranyaji, uh, you talked about uh, the difference uh, between to give a sensation and to accept a sensation. A session. For, for me, this is mean if um, my, con how to say, what is inside of me stronger, it's coming out. It's according to physical law. The substance in the places of a substance more, uh, how to say, um, density, I'd say, more condensed. condensed it's going to that place where it's substance less condensed. It's a just physical law. If what is inside of me stronger than if uh, what I met some person, then what is inside of me, this means I'm giving a session. It's coming from me to that person. If I am weak, I will accept. It's just physical law. And the, what I understood, um, then uh, where is... Uh, the biggest condensed of uh, emotions. It's in Swarupa. And everything that's connected with Swarupa means Radha Krishna Lila. Then it's in devotees so much connection with this, then it's coming out. Otherwise, I don't know how possible to be out of this influence. I bound be in the under influence, more or less. Very good point. Radhe Radhe, can I share also something? Of course. <laughs> Nina, thank invite. you. Nina Boy inspired me because I have this question so often, especially when I go to my family, to my parents and brothers. And what I learned in so many, many years is that I only can stay a short time and I have to be very uh, conscious about my like Radha Sharan says, what is stronger inside? Is my love big enough that my love can 
um, save me and I can look with these eyes to them and have um, um, mitgefühl. Um, passion. 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 passion with, with my family. And, and sometimes I'm, I go out when I'm with them some days that they, their home is uh, some hours away. So I don't, I cannot go the same day to them and back. So I stay overnight. And when it's hard for me, then I uh, go and listen to the Zoom class outside to my walk, <laughs> my chanting. And it's unbelievable what then will happen. Sometimes during this, I have an idea or I have um, my, my view is more clear. Last, last uh, week I was with them and they were pushing, fighting against me. And I recognize this and I, I don't say anything and go out and listen to Udava's class and chanting. And then something came and said, you have to do this. And then I asked myself, was this my ego or was this Swamini? But it was so clear. And I asked her, please give me a sign. And so what I feel is that the Zoom classes protect us, me, for especially to be connect when, when my love, my, my connection to Radas gets lower. I need this. I'm not strong enough to stay there longer than two and a half days. <laughs> But what I always ask myself, and this is what Nina Boy said, to come close to friends who are not in this consciousness. But there are some friends, they are very deep connected with Jesus, or they want to spread love. And then it's more easy with them. And sometimes there are devotees uh, in our uh, Sangha, I feel not comfortable and I, I, I think I don't know why. This is maybe a question to Ruga, to you, Yoravani, or to others. Sometimes it makes me weak to be with them, obwohl they are how I say they okay. are. Although they are sisters and disciples of Sadhu Maharaj of our Guru Dev. And then I have to go back and to be with myself alone and or to, yes. Yeah. How can this be then? Maybe it's our patterns, our egos, yes. I don't know. Yes, it has usually a lot to do with patterns. That's a very good point. Because if you have patterns and you are with people, they have maybe the same or the opposite pattern then usually it has a, an impact and we feel it but we cannot immediately understand it we just feel it because we get triggered by it you know something is going into move inside and we have to see the same topic from another view maybe so that's why we get triggered actually this is mercy this is also the mercy of Nittai because he's acting in such a way that we get rid of all these patterns which are not good for us. They are good patterns, of course, also, and they are not so good patterns. And whatever is against accepting Brahma and going more into Bhav, this has to be actually put aside by the time. And that's why we get cleaned on the way. It's a cleaning process and it's going on if we don't, if we like or not. Actually, Nitai is not so much interested if we like it or not. He is actually interested in make it very fast, clean it up very fast. Because then afterwards we will be very happy and very thankful. And he doesn't care if we are thankful. He loves us so much, he wants to clean us up. He wants to get rid of all this stuff which is in the way to serve Radha. So patterns actually, they react with each other. And this is going on unconscious. And that's why it's so hard usually to be with people we know, you know, from beginning of the story, <laughs> like 
like parents, sisters, brothers, uh, whatever, you know. So people we actually grow up with, usually these patterns are immediately, when we are with them, immediately we are inside again. But because we changed, we moved, we don't feel any more um, good in these patterns. We feel, we, we, we feel that ah, it doesn't fit anymore. I, I cannot take it anymore. I want to come out. But actually it's good that we feel that and it's good that we have this wish. And maybe we can make a prayer to Nitai that he will help, help us out of this pattern so that we get be really rid of that, be completely free of that influence. And then we can see it out of the vision of love, of pure love, because we then get Radharani's view. Because only the filter of patterns are filters, only that filter is actually in the way to feel that love. So we have to get rid of them. And then it's, that's that's why it sometimes really feels like that. So I, I, I can like you are putting the finger in an old wound, you know. I cannot take it anymore. So uh, that's a good sign. It's really a good sign because that means it moves. Something is moving. Something is. It wouldn't be a good sign if you f would feel like, oh, yes, you know, ah, oh, I'm at home, yes, my God. And then mother is coming with a cake with uh, 10 eggs inside and, you know, like that. Oh, yes, it always tastes so good. I, I, I put the meat out. You can take the sauce only. You're a vegetarian, isn't it? I put the meat out. You can eat the rice and the sauce, it's enough. You know, they have such ideas and they also have from, from the feeling side, they have such ideas. They, they cannot understand the heart of a devotee. And this is not like, uh, how you say, urteil? Judgment. Huh? Ah? So, uh, judgment. Touch, judgment. judgment, yes, it's not a judgment. We are not judging these people. Everyone can do what they like, you know, we are free. But we have to understand what is good for us and what is not good for us. And if they don't understand, because their meaning is, is actually, they want to give us their love. But their kind of love, maybe not you know, clean enough for what we are searching for. So in this way, their kind of love is actually giving us trouble. But the, the, the meaning is good. Yes, I want to serve you what I like, you know. So we have to be grown up, understand that, and without hurting that people's feeling, you know, just step out of that compromising situation. And then give them association. Next time I will come and cook something and distribute to them, prasadam. That's the point, you know, when I go to some people I know that they are addicted to me or something or they have some bad characters which you know I don't like then I'm doing something to give them because they are in need so give them bring prasadam distribute prasadam bring them a CD with music or whatever you know whatever they can accept whatever their senses are addicted to Give them some some aspect from Mahabhav. Some prasadam. And this is the way it works out always. But it takes time.
That's why Trinata, peace on each other is so important, this verse. We have to be very, very patient with us and with other people. Otherwise, the process will not work out. We will give up before we reach the goal. So it's such a wonderful gift we got. It's really the most precious gift we could get. Because this is the process of love and we just have to give ourselves into that process and stay there. That's it. Qualification we will get by the mercy. The mercy of Radharani is our qualification. The mercy of Mahaprabhu is our qualification. And this will free us from all these patterns, social patterns, because also this human social system is not what we like. But how to explain people who are completely in that social systems? You know, you are completely unsocial behavior. You know, people sometimes were telling me that. You're such an oh, unsocial person. And today I say, yes, you're completely right. Yes, it's true. I'm asozial, we say in Germany which means the opposite of social, asocial, asocial. Yes, that's true. Because I don't want to be in a human social society, because we all see where it leads to. Just look around you now. Then you see where it leads to. Lies in the name of love doesn't bring us further. So if we want to get rid of all these human shortcomings, we only have to put ourselves in the mood, like Mahaprabhu said, Trinata, peace on each other. We have to put us in this feeling like I said, it's not in Aishwarya Bhav. If you see it in Aishwarya Bhav, then you think, oh yes, I have to obey because, you know, it's God and I'm so low. And No, it's not in that mood. This is not what Mahaprabhu wants to give us. He wants to say us, please accept in love that Brahma will lead you to the goal by itself. Brahma brings you to Prema. That's why, if you want that, then follow this Trinata Pisunichana. Follow that rules in love, not out of Aishwarya Bhav. And in this way, the flow will transport us. That's it. It's a very important point, I think. Otherwise, how you can fix, if you have, don't have this peace inside, that you are lying in the stream of Brahma and everything is going alone, how you can fix your mind completely on one goal? How it's possible? You have never peace. Always something is, you know, pushing and ripping on you. <laughs> But if you're just lying there, oh my God, yes, I'm lying in the stream of Brahma. Then automatically you get transported there. Like Gurudev is always giving this example. If you want to fly from, let's say, Frankfurt Airport in Germany or Tokyo Airport or wherever, you know, in the world to Delhi, you have to give yourself into that process. Yeah? Show your ticket, put your luggage inside, you know, and follow the process. Be patient. And then sit in your seat 
just stay there. Yes, you can go on toilet, but back in the seat. You follow the process, you sit in your seat, and then at one point you will be there. It's easy. You don't have to fly yourself. You don't have to make anything yourself. Just be there. You are even served meal. Drinks. They ask you, you need maybe some cover or, you know. It's an, actually, it's an easy process, isn't it? Just follow. So, that's how we come there. And in verse number 84, in Shishidrata Rasa Sudanidi, it's very interesting, here the title is Fixation in the Flavor of Sri Radhika's Lotus Feet. And this is the point, if we are fixed on the flavor of Sri Radhika's Lotus Feet, then we don't even realize what that process is. We may be in an hour plane, but actually we are meditating on the seva of Radharani's lotus feet and what, what honey is coming to us, what sweetness is dropping down to us. We are meditating on that. We are not even conscious about the outer realm because we are fixed on the flavor. In this way, we are not even disturbed. Like in the material world, you can be always disturbed. Huh? You have to wait. You have to do this. You have to do that. You, you don't do this. You don't do that. All these things which are going in our nerves. But if we are fixed on the flavor we don't even realize there is no disturbance because we are fixed. And this is actually the process we can help to stay fixed, like being in such moments together, like now, together meditating on what does it mean for us in practice? And to share on that point, to share our feelings. So stay in the association of devotees who are fixed in the seva to Radharani's lotus feet and who are fixed in the flavor of that. Because this is an important point. We have to have the flavor. Otherwise, we cannot stay fixed. If there's no taste, your senses will search for taste. You don't have taste here, you will search for other taste. So that's why the flavor of Sri Radhika's lotus feet, the seva, the service to Radhika's lotus feet, is important. So Srila Prabhupada Ananda Saraswati is saying here, what is the use of speaking, of speaking about sense enjoyment? What is the use of speaking about sense enjoyment? It doesn't give any flavor. It's a disgusting. It is, it is disgusting. It doesn't, it, it, it's not only not giving any flavor, it's disgusting as millions of healths. This is actually the view of Srila Prabodhananda Saraswati here. Well, I cannot say like this. It would be a lie if I would say, you know. But from the view of Srila Prabodhananda Saraswati, and he compares it, the taste of Sri Radhika's lotus feet 
and then you are going into some sense enjoyment on a material platform, then it's as disgusting as millions of healths. Not only one hell, millions of healths. So he has a very clear, a very clear taste of Radharani's lotus feet. Otherwise, how, how he can say like that? Speaking about the Vedas is a waste of labor. <laughs> Everybody tries to, to follow the Vedas in, in, in knowing or unknowingly, because the Vedas are the base even of all religious principles in the world. So everybody wants to follow that actually and speaking about this a whole day long and they think, oh yes, we are very elevated, we are religious people, we are very good people, you know, like this. But Srila Prabhupada Nanda Saraswati is saying, speaking about the Vedas is a waste of labor. Alas, I am afraid of oneness with the Absolute. The next point. Oneness with the Absolute means we had now Dharma, Artha Karma was discussed before, and now we come to the point of Moksha. Be free from the suffering of the material world and get one with the Absolute Truth. I am afraid of that, Srila Prabhupada Saraswati is saying. So if you suffer in the material world, you may think, oh yes, I want to be free from that, that's wonderful. But if you're going in the Brahman, then you're merging. You're one with God and the light which is coming from God. That means you cannot have any exchange, no loving exchange. That's why Srila Prabhupada is afraid. Then I cannot have Sambandha. This is the hell. If I cannot have Sambandha, I cannot exchange Mahabhav. What's the use of life? This is no life. This is dead. This is worse than dead. Out of the vision of Maha Bhav, uh, this is the hell. What is the use of going mad in worship of the Supreme Lord like Shukadev and others? Now we go a step further. What is the use of going mad in worship the Supreme Lord? The Supreme Lord means in Aishwari above. He's God and I am lower. But I'm, you know, doing some job for him. So even the highest position in serving the Lord, what is the use of it? Srila Prabhupada Nanda Saraswati is clearly saying, what is the use of it? There is no taste. That's the point. We are speaking here on the fixation in the flavor of Sri Radhika's lotus feet. So in comparement of this, what is the use of serving God? doesn't give any taste from that point of view. That's why, Srila Prabhupada Nanda Saraswati, let my mind be absorbed in the flavor of Radhika's lotus feet. Because there is the highest taste. Nowhere else. And this actually 
We were talking about real sannyas. This is real sannyas. Now we get a very, very clear description. Srila Prabhupada Ananda Saraswati is not interested about sense enjoyment. It's disgusting, disgusting, like millions of hells. Speaking about the Vedas is a waste of labor. Forget about knowledge. Alas, I am afraid of oneness with the Absolute. Forget about this. What is the use of going mad in worship of the Supreme Lord, like Shukadev and others? Forget about this. There is only one thing I am interested in. The absorption in the flavor of Radhika's lotus feet. That's it. That's sannyas. Real sannyas. I even renounce God. That's higher than we usually understand sannyas. That's why we can understand that the householder sannyasis, the follower of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, are even more elevated than a mere sannyasi. So in the Yoga Shastra, Vashikara stage means full renunciation. Yogis reach this Vadikasa stage or after long and arduous practice. But such renunciation need not to be separately endeavored for by a devotee. We don't need to make these endeavors. Jnana Vairakya Bhaktira Kabu Nahe Anga Yama Nityamadi Bhule Krishna Bhakta Sangha Chaitanya Charitamrita. Here is the quote Wisdom and renunciation are never items of devotion. Again, wisdom and renunciation are never items of devotion. And I have a very good experience in that many people, they don't understand that point. They always think they have to renounce things. Oh, I have to renounce this, I have to renounce that. Otherwise, I will not come further. But here it's written, it's Never, never an item of devotion. Because devotion means I'm doing it out of love. I'm not doing it to get rid of something. This is egoism. I want to get rid of something that I can get something else. It's like a deal. Otherwise, I would want to get rid of something. It's just the other side of I'm attached to. It's the other side of the coin. I'm attached to, I want to get rid of. All these things are automatically accompanying the devotee of Krishna. Even the devotee of Krishna. What to speak of Radharani? The devotee practices devotional items like hearing and chanting. When the sweetness of the Lord is only slightly relished through this process of hearing and chanting, the stage of Vashikara renunciation that is attained by yogis after so much endeavor at once awakens in the consciousness. At once. 
like here, who is really attached to the lotus feet of Radharani, automatically he renounces all other things. So it's not a question of renunciation, it's a question of attachment. That's why Gurudev was so inspired when he heard, Go Vardhan! We have to be more attached, not renounced. No, we have to be more attached. Attached to the right thing. So we don't concentrate on Vairagya. We concentrate on Brema. How Brema can actually get me in the stream. I want to throw myself in the stream of Brema. That's our real renunciation. Jump into Brema. A person who refrains refrains from sense gratification may have renounced the sense objects, but he did not give up the desire for the relish in his mind. Srila Vishwanath Chakravati Pat comments on follows, uh, as follows on this verse. When one perceives the Paramatma, there will be an end to the desire for sense objects. There is no transgression of this symptom. This goes for the yogis in a similar way. The devotees have their meeting with the Lord by savouring his sweetness. With savouring his sweetness, You may be face to face with the Lord, and yet you are still not face to face with Him. Sri Krishna is the embodiment of transcendental sweetness Himself, and the sweet flavor is manifest in His names, attributes, and pastimes. Therefore, when a devotee attains the sweetness of the Lord's holy names, attributes, and pastimes, through the process of hearing and chanting, all sense objects become despicable, despicable, despicable for him like millions of healths. What is the word? Despicables or despicables? I don't know. Despicable. Despicable. It's like what you can say. Um. Zu, ver, zu verachten. Ah. Uh, abscheulich. Ah, okay. So they are worse than anything. <laughs> Despicable. Like, bah. Thank you. So this is a very clear description that Vairagra is not for us on that path. It's not made for us. We shouldn't be interested in that, actually. We should focus on the positive, like Gurudev always say, the positive aspect, not the negative. Not ne ne neglecting, but taking, taking the Brema. So this was from verse number 84. So the next quote from Chaitanya Charit Amrita is in the same verse. It has actually a very long commentary. So. The connection is here. Katamukti Vyakriha Nashrinu Kila Sarvatma Gilani. 
Oh, mind, don't listen to the words of the, tig of the tigress liberation, for she will swallow your whole self. So Srila Ananda Das Babaji is actually describing what Srila Prabhupada Ananda Saraswati said in this verse. And he's describing it very nicely. And here this verse actually says like it's like the like the mouth of a tiger swallowing you completely when you want liberation. Because you are giving up your person. You cannot be in some bandha. Like we said before. That tree part has begun to dread liberation is also the result of uh, that Sri part has begun to dread liberation is also the result of Sriman Mahaprabhu's grace. Why? Because he he was Mukti Vat also. He wanted to reach Mukti before because he was Prakashananda. Before he met Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and got the mercy, this was clearly a goal of him. But now he's saying, no, it's like the mouth of a tiger swallowing you. I don't want that. And this is because of the mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And this is actually showing how Radharani's mercy will actually change us, the Brahma will change us, if we just let it be. Just we accept the mercy. So if we accept it in a loving way, in this mood, then it will change us completely. From a Muktivat, now, what we have now? Radadasi. And more astonishing, he was Tunga Vidya, a gopi. Now he's in Manjari Bhav. How could this happen? How it's possible? Only through the fundamental mercy of our Swamini. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is in the mood of our Swamini. She is merciful as, he is merciful as our Swamini. The mercy changed the whole person's understanding of himself completely. And if it worked with him, maybe it also works with us. If we want. By Sriman Mahaprabhu's grace, Sri Asarva Bhattacharya Acharya changed the shloka that contained the word mukti and replaced it with the word bhakti. When Mahaprabhu inquired why he did so, he told the Lord, and here comes the quote, Chaitanya Charit Amrita Matya Lila, chapter 6. Liberation is not the result of devotion. It's just a punishment for those who are averse to the Lord. I think this is a real nice... Uh, understanding of mukti, it is a punishment, isn't it? You cannot love anymore, you cannot have loving exchange, but you are a person, you are sat, jit, ananda, that's your nature. So, you are, from nature, you are always in ananda. What means? Ananda is 
actually the bliss which is growing out of the exchange of love, the exchange of love from Radha and Krishna. This is actually giving Ananda. So that's your nature. You're always swimming in that Ananda. But now, somebody is taking that possibility from you. Isn't that the punishment? You cannot be in active relationship, exchange in Sambandha, no exchange of Mahabhav. That's real punishment. And usually it's for those who are averse to the Lord, who don't want to serve in love. That's why we heard You know when uh, Kurukshetra there was this fight it was said that actually all these people who left their body they actually got mukti isn't it? So people th may think oh yes to being averse to the Lord is giving me mukti. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> but actually it's not so nice. It's a punishment. You're bereft of the possibility to love, to have a loving relationship. Those who do not believe that Krishna's form is transcendental reali reality and who thus blaspheme him, are punished by becoming one with the Lord, along with those who are killed by him in the battles. Very clear statement. But devotees will never get such result from their bhakti. When a devotee even hears the word mukti, he becomes filled with hate and dread. He would rather go to hell than to merge with the Lord. When I say the word mukti, my mind is filled with dread and hate. But when I say the word bhakti, my mind feels very happy. It is by Lord Chaitanya's grace that the same Bhatta Acharya that read and thought Mayavad is now uttering such words. No one can recognize a touch stone until it touches iron and turns it into gold. It's a wonderful example. You may have a touchstone at home and wash your clothes with it <laughs> and you will not realize that it is a touchstone which turns everything what is iron into gold until you touch with the stone iron and then it turns into gold and you realize, oh, it's a touchstone. <laughs> so to realize who is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, it needs such examples. Isn't that wonderful? I loved it so much. It's not just any person, you know. It, it's a person who has already fixed the path and is completely preaching to others, you know, very convinced. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is coming, touching, everything changed. That's a miracle. That shows what power this Mahabha, this Brahma has. So we just have to swim with that stream. And then we will be transformed by the time. Like 
Srila Prabhupada Ananda Saraswati was also. And he is giving us this hope actually. What wonderful examples. So someone who is exclusively immersed in that ecstasy of worshipping must also have become immersed in the ecstasy of worshipping the Supreme Lord like that. To this Sri Pada answers, let Sugadev and his kind be immersed in the worship of the Supreme Lord as much as they like. I will just dive into the nectar ocean of Sri Radhika's lotus feet. And I pray that my mind be always be immersed in that ocean. So a wonderful example because we were speaking about a stream of Brahma, which we are lying on, where the stream will go. Usually a stream is going where? To the ocean. And here we have it. I will just dive into the nectar ocean of Sri Radhika's lotus feet. And I pray that my mind we will be always immersed in that ocean again and again immersed in that ocean. That's the way how to come there and stay in that ocean. So, I'm sorry we didn't come very far today, but <laughs> It's such a wonderful topic for me, I have to say that, because it gives such a release. In the past, we endeavored so much for so many things. If you want to get some position in material world, you have to endeavor, 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 again and again, isn't it? It's not easy to become a good position, enough money, you know, all the things we would like. Not so easy. You have to do something for it. Or you're lucky you had it done already in past lives and now you will be born in a very rich family and you just have it. Okay, then you did it before. Otherwise, you have to struggle. It's not so easy. It's also not so easy to be in religion because it's part of that material circle. Dharma, Artha, Kama, Moksha, Dharma, Artha, Kama, Moksha, Dharma, Artha, Kama, Moksha. Everything not so easy. And now we think we have to endeavor in the same way to be in Radha Dasyam because it's, you know, we are used to it. For everything you have to endeavor, have you have you have to have your plans and follow the plans and strictly do it, you know. Yeah. Forget about that. Forget about all this. Trinata piso nichana taro apisa vishnana amanina manadena kirtaniya sadhari. If you don't see it in Aishwari above, this verse is the key. Like straw, you put yourself into the influence of Brahma. The wind is carrying, Brahma wind is carrying the straw everywhere. The wind wants the straw. It's just doing what Brahma wants. Patient like the tree, yes. Patiently. 
because Bremer will work out. I don't have to have any doubt. It will work out, but it needs some time. That's why patience is good invested. I don't want to have any respect why I should. I'm just straw moved by Brema. I'm waiting for the result. What I have to be braced for? But I give respect to all others who help me in that way. Thank you so much. I want to have Brema. Thank you so much. I respect you so much. I'm in love with all people who helped me to come to that seva of Radharani's lotus feet. That's love. It's not Aishwarya. It's love. It's a loving mood. And if we take that loving mood, throw ourselves in that stream of Brahma, stay there, we will reach the ocean. It's just a question of time. We can be relaxed and we can be assured that we'll reach the goal if we just stay in that stream. Isn't that a release? For me it's the biggest release. And this is the gift of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. No one else before had given us that. And no one else could have given us this. Because only in the mood of Radha, only our Swamini could give us that. Because she is made out of feelings. Who else but she can give us back our feelings, our transcendental feelings? Bhava Mai. We need Bhava Mai so that our Bhav will grow again. And here Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is the living representative of that Baba Mai. So we are right in the, in, in the best position now. Shri Kshashtakam, eight verses of mercy, verses in Mahabhav, in feelings, connected with us as soul, who is always in feeling who always search for his nature, Ananda. Be in that Mahabhav. And where is Mahabhav? Where the Lilas are performed from Radha and Krishna. There is Mahabhav. So we are in the right position. We just have to stay and flow on. That's it. Jai Jai Sri Radha. Nitai Gaur Haribo. Thank you all so much. So, if you want to have some exchange of your feelings or something, please share with us. <laughs> I have one. Sorry. Uh, sorry, no, no, Nina, you I already said. Okay, it's yeah. Okay, um, I have a quick, a big question that's always on my mind. Um, is being is loving nature sense enjoyment? Because I don't know anything um, as beautiful as nature, and nothing that touches me like that. And I also find if your your inner state is different you perceive it differently right so the more calm you are then you see your senses work differently they are able to 
perceive deeper and um, differently, right? Than if you're really distracted and all over the place. So, yeah, I just, um, yeah, that's my question. Is it is is that is it sense enjoyment or is it something else? Well, sense enjoyment, you could also say Maya. And Prabhupada is giving a very good definition of Maya. Maya is what you disconnect from Prema, or he said from Krishna. So is the nature disconnected for you from Prema? No. The source of the nature is Brahma, isn't it? If you see it like that, it's not Maya. Whatever you see in the connection with Brahma can never be Maya. But if you disconnect it, you want to enjoy it on the material platform, then it is Maya. Then even nature can be Maya. We see this in this example of Bharat. So we should we, we should just keep it in the connection because green, the green color is a mixture of the blue boy and my Swamini's golden aura. If they come together, it's green, dark green. And this is the nature. It is actually the love, the Mahabhav itself who's giving the color. So it's, it's not disconnected. Yes, I love this screen because that means that Radharani is meeting with Krishna. That's why I feel so good in the nature. Because this is my source of Ananda when Radharani and Krishna come together. So of course I feel Ananda. If, we, if I meditate on this like that, then where is the disconnection? Thank you. Thank you, because this is a very interesting question. And we always need very clear answers on all these topics, because otherwise we cannot relax. And we should be relaxed in love because this is the most secure position, to be relaxed in love. Um, I want to add to your answer. Please. Lord, my dream. Once Shil Prabhupada told what the nature giving him special inspiration. And my own experience, what I found, particular, uh, I, um, especially particular places, uh, which is I'm calling place of power, which is created mostly for me, mostly by rivers, um, have such sweet nature. But for me, it's um, they, they giving uh, feelings. Shimati Radhika is very close to me. It's not intellectual. It's my heart feeling. So, so uh, same sweetness as she is giving. I couldn't uh, distinguish these two. For me, it's same. Um, a and influence of these places so beautiful. But after this, everything what you're doing in spiritual practice go, going on level up. If I'm coming to these places uh, with no desire to chant holy name, in depression, and so on, after a few minutes, I found I'm smiling, I'm free from all uh, problems, and my heart becomes soft, and my mouth chanting Harina. How can I say this is Maya? <laughs> It's my experience. So many times, for once I came with my friend towards the bank of river, uh, I uh, I promised him to show what does mean tarpana, uh, offer the holy water to someone, A ritual. And 
then they did it this uh, it also means coming to the water and or in some uh, let's say uh, purification by this water and then they come out from water to the bank after this ritual my heart become much more softer and after this i look back some minutes back how i spoke with my friend before and i understood i was in in the mood what i i'm more important than he is i i had a mood what i can uh control him mm-hmm. and immediately i asked please forgive me my friend forgive me it's it's by influence of river mm-hmm. it's so pure all rivers coming from yamuna they coming from vrindavan and they connect me with vrindavan radhe that's a wonderful view huh it's a feeling i just want to say thank you for all your um uh, sharings and opening and also asking those questions nina and raseshwari opening your heart because yeah it was like um it's so helpful also for me you know because i have the same questions i have the same um i'm struggling a lot with things and i don't dare to ask questions so i'm so thankful for all your questions and for this groups and sharings and goravani thank you so much for leading this zoom class today and really touches me a lot and what i've learned for opening everything Thank you. Thank you all so much and Radha Charan such a steady service always doing and you are always lovingly with with us together so thank thanks to all it it needs all our love to put in the pot like this you know and and, and stir it and see what more love can come out of that actually this is actually what we are doing so please go on like this and yes please ask all questions there are no questions who are not intelligent or who are not important or it doesn't exist like that all questions are very very like gems valuable yes 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 valuable thank you so <laughs> thank you all for sharing like this and see you next time yeah we take you with us to arti ha huh? radacharan we take you with us to arti now <laughs> please send us the mercy of brindavan the dust